Let's talk about firearms then. So this was your role as a firearms officer. Um, you don't have to be a firearms officer, of course. You know, it's a voluntary thing, right? I mean, you, you, you think, you know, you have this idea that certain cops are selected, right? You know, Smithers, Jones and Brown, come with us. Here's a gun. You're going out to be training. Uh, nobody has to do it. No, nope, completely voluntary. There's no additional pay, no additional rank for anybody involved. It's just a a different level of policing that people want to, um, I say, aspire to because yeah. people can aspire to different roles in policing, be it dogs, maritime, detectives, um, but it presents its own unique challenges. It's very physical. It's also mentally quite exhausting when you're having to concentrate and focus on the threat and harm in front of you before deciding whether you whether you squeeze the trigger because um, potentially you're going to take someone's life. So it's a fascinating world for me to talk about. Having been involved in it for over 10 years, um, it was a nice place to be because of the camaraderie, mm. the team building and the constant training. It really put you on your A game and that training itself gave you that confidence to go and deal with anything that the public will throw at you and then some.